Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and today's video has to do with a common household substance that you probably have in your home, and I use it in my shop. I use it on my tools, and I also use it on wood projects. Now what is it? It's wax. I have paraffin here that I use, beeswax, and paste wax, and I use all three, but in different ways. And I'm gonna show you how I use each one of these waxes in my shop. What I do is I use paste wax on my table saw. And what it does is it protects it from rusting, but the other benefit of it is I like the fact that it allows stock to slide effortlessly across the top. It doesn't get caught. So what I do is I apply a real thin coat to the top surface, okay? And then I'll let it sit for about 30 minutes until it hazes over, and then I'll just buff it out. Now the table saw top that I applied the paste wax to, it's hazed over. And what that tells me is it's time to take a clean cloth and start buffing it out. So that's what I'm doing here, just a light buff. I've buffed it up really nice. Let's just see how well the stock, well, it slides off. Oh, oh, oh. It slides off really nice, and that's what you want. You don't want your stock to get caught up on the table when you're passing it through that blade. Well, this is what I want to tell you. Make certain that you use paste wax and not car wax, because car wax has certain additives in it that you don't want to get on your wood, okay? And that's why I use paste wax. Now also remember that paste wax, it helps to prevent rust. Now this, this is paraffin wax. You know, they make candles out of paraffin wax. But what I use it for in the shop is I use it to condition the bottom of my plane. So I just, you know, do like this, just put a little bit of wax on the bottom. Now what it does is it helps my plane glide across the wood easier. And I gotta tell you, honestly, there is such a big difference when you use wax on the bottom than when you don't. I use paraffin wax as well on my dovetail saw. So I'll just scribble on the front and I'll scribble on the back. <laughs> I like the way the paraffin works with my dovetail saw. It really allows the saw to move through the wood without binding. Now our next wax is beeswax. And what beeswax is ideal for is it's great for refinishing wood as it turns on your lathe, or at least that's the way I like to use beeswax in my shop. Now I've got a little wooden button attached to my drill. And I wanna show you what I mean. We're just gonna get this thing spinning. I'm gonna put some wax on it. Then I'm gonna buff it out with a piece of paper. So I'm gonna rub it, get it rubbed on a few spots. Okay, now I'm gonna just take a piece of paper and I'm gonna use the paper to buff up the button. Can you see the nice sheen we have on this wooden button now? Just by using a little beeswax and a piece of paper. Hopefully I've shown you a few things that I use paraffin wax, beeswax, and paste wax on in my shop. Now maybe you use it in some unique or different ways. Hey, share with us in the comments below. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.